is Phoenix of Phoenix's Curiosity Cabinet. And today, we're going to be making rock candy with Kayla. So, what are, tell us what we're doing here. So, here we have one cup of water and three cups of sugar. The water on until it starts boiling. In our last video, we explored how sugar can dissolve in water. And we talked about the science of how things dissolve. Okay, so our water started boiling. So now we're gonna add the sugar. So what we're going to have here is what we talked about in our last video, a super saturated solution. Way more sugar dissolved than it normally would because we've heated it up. Okay, and now we have to let this cool, is that correct? Uh -huh. Awesome. Right now, we have sugar dissolved in water. The process of crystallization happens when the water evaporates, leaving behind the sugar molecules, which grow and reform into crystals. For our uh, sugar solution to cool, we're gonna prep the, our next step for our rock candy. So what are we gonna do next, Kayla? So I have this little toothpick and we're gonna dip it in the water like this, trying to get it as wet as we can so we can get as much sugar on it as possible. So now we have that and we're gonna roll it in the sugar. So it looks like we have all our dishes prepped. What do we do next? So we're going to pour the sugar syrup into our bowls. Awesome. What do we, any last steps we need to do to finish? So we need to cover them with tin foil. And why do we do that? It's basically to keep any dirt or gunk out so they don't get dirty. So what's it look like we've got here, Kayla? Um, it looks like we have like, we can see like the crystal structures and we have, it looks like finished rock candy. How's it taste? Good. Our rock candy making experiment was a sweet success. Much of the science of candy making is controlling the crystallization of the sugar. We will continue to explore the science of candy in our next several videos. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.